Welcome guys, it is the SAK show on Zindagi TV brought to you by Mac Coffee. And on today's episode, we've got a very, very special guest. She's a one woman army. Who is she? Find out. That suits you perfectly. Yeah, why? Yeah, it's I'm like, like one woman army. Who am I fighting? You will know about <laughs> all this today. You know, we'll speak about all this. Now, first and foremost, you know, Pinky. Yes. You know, I know it's a very popular name. You know, mm -hmm. women are called Pinky. But is your real name Pinky or is there a Pemi or a Perminder hidden somewhere? Oh, no, no, no. My real name is Preeti, actually. Preeti. My father was Gujarati okay. and he gave me that name. But then my brothers, when I was born, they came to see me at the hospital. They couldn't come in. <laughs> So they asked my mom, what does she look like? And yeah. my mom said, well, she's very pink. And they're like, let's call her Pinky. Yeah. And it stuck. And yeah. uh, I think also just with my media career, it was easier to, you know, become more of a brand, yeah, Pinky. Yeah. Who exactly is Pinky Kila? Um, just, you know, I'm, I'm just a hustler, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, believe in, I believe in dreams. I dream big. I believe in living a positive life. I believe in watching your motives, but whatever you're doing, you have to watch your motives. Why are you doing it? What's the reason behind it? And I believe that there's room for everyone to yeah. succeed. How were you as a child? Um, as a child, I, I lost my father at the age of six. Yes. So you can just imagine what that does that to a six-year-old. Unfortunate. Uh, accident. No, my or brother. My brother had your an brother accident. Had the accident. My okay. father was in hospital. He was unwell, oh. and he was a heart patient. He was a smoker, so he's his lungs collapsed after three weeks of being in the hospital, and he died actually on this day, wow. 35 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, so it's it's okay. It's part of life, and that. That affected me in a huge way because I was my father's favorite, you know, yeah, fathers yeah, and yes, daughters exactly, and their bond, exactly, etc. Yeah. And um, I think it does change a child. It does, so it does. It's traumatic. That's, that's one of the bigger things that happened to me as a child. I remember people telling me that I used to talk to flowers, I used to talk to trees, and oh. I think I'm still that person. And you're still in, in, in primary school at that time. Yes, yeah. And then I got to a stage later on in my life, maybe about... 12 13 i was bullied in school bullied yes that's interesting yeah those so days bullying that's was a where big the thing. army side of me comes yeah, out. yeah. Okay. i i had to learn to defend bullying myself. as in what uh, like abusive slang or physical fighting oh no uh, i was like you know taunting uh, my pencil cases would get hidden yeah. um people would hide my pe kit Oh. You know, the, and it was coming a lot from the girls in the yeah. class. And yeah. my mother advised me. She's like, "Why do you need to hang out with the girls? Hang out with the boys." And I yeah. think that annoyed them even more because okay. I think I was one of the only girls yeah. who did that yeah. at that okay. age. So the boys became my friends. And then because I had <laughs> so brothers, you started building your own army. Yeah. yeah, and you know, my brothers were like, "What yeah. are you doing? Don't yeah. don't be a coward." And trust me, one of them is like physical. You know, we'll get into that later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but he, you know, they both said to me, "Defend yourself." When when it comes to the crunch, learn how to pack a punch. Oh. And that's when it got physical. Wow. So yeah. you have actually been involved in a brawl. Many. Many. Not one. Oh, no, that's interesting. Many. <laughs> Um, at 16, when I finished, because now because of the bullying in school, yeah, I yeah. had to sit my O levels privately, yeah. and uh, wow. I had a gap year. Uh -huh. So I said I want to work and I want to model. Yeah. And at that time, there was a school, a modeling school called Kelu. Yeah. I signed up for it because my mum uh, was a model. Really? Yes, in her day. Wow. She modeled. She was probably one of the first Indians to model for Mzejia Makinyata on oh, Independence Day. That's awesome. Yeah. And you know, she was always approached by different photographers and um, Harper's Bazaar magazine wanted yeah, her on the yeah, cover of a yeah. magazine, on their oh, magazine. Wow. And yeah. So, so that's where you were like, okay, I have something to do with modeling. Did it start I there just, or when I did just, it just happen? Yeah, it, it was at that time where I was like, okay, let me do this because my mom was a model. Let me try yeah. and see if I can dabble. And that's the time I was overweight. That's oh. the time I was like 68 kilos. And that's like the time you wanted to do modeling. 15 kilo, kilos he heavier oh, than wow. I am now, yeah. So that's the time I, and you know, and people would look at me and say, you're a model, seriously? 
and um, I went for auditions and sometimes I'd get stuff, sometimes yeah. I wouldn't. But of course, when you get stuff, you start yeah. getting confident yeah. and yeah. yeah, that's where it started. Great, from. great. So uh, that was your hustle period. And so when was the major breakthrough? The um, okay, so uh, I just, because being on the catwalk was such a passion. Yeah. Once I started getting on the catwalk, it was, yeah. it was nice. It made me feel alive. But then, you know, I... I went away to university. My brother passed away mm -hmm. in a car yeah, accident. A and I came back and that's yeah. when I was like, I'm never leaving this country because bad things happen when I leave. And I started working and I then got involved in radio. No, in television first in KBC and then so radio. Te television was first. Yeah, television Then was radio, first. then marketing. Uh, sorry, uh, modeling. Then radio. Then, no, modeling was still there. So you were first at KBC. Yes. That's news. Yeah, uh -huh. I was at KBC Radio and KBC TV. In that same time, I met Raj yeah. and I went to the UK and I started working with BBC over there and ZTV over there. And I was like, I really enjoy this. And when I came back, someone called Zane Virgie. Yes. You know Zane Virgie. Everyone knows she's, Zane Virgie. She's a, yeah. Yeah, a household name. So she said to me, she's like, are you still looking for stuff in media? I said, yes. And she said, I'm leaving Capital FM. There may be an opening. Okay. And, and, that, and so you took her place at Capital. Yes. And Obama. then Miss India Kenya happened. Yeah. So, you know, I, that's when I won the, the, the title of the first Miss the India. The first Miss India Kenya. Tell, tell me more about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are like the first major. I mean, nobody even knew about Indian pageants in this country. Mm -hmm. It's like you introduced it. Well, I... I was part of it. The, yeah. the organizers introduced yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I was... You are, the, you are the first winner. Yeah, I was the first winner. How was that experience? Though? It was amazing. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. Beyond. Um, true. Let's talk about love. Raj. Uh, oh, Raj. How did that happen? Wow. Well, your love story. Um, arranged, love. No, definitely not arranged. I mean, at that time, you're on your peak and... Everybody's Google -goo Gaga or pinky, 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 yeah. pinky. Yeah. But then Raj comes from nowhere. And no, no, he was. He didn't come from nowhere. He uh -huh. was there. He was there. <laughs> he was there. So he, yeah, as you mentioned, he's been there <laughs> for a very long, for a long time. time. So he's seen the struggle. He's seen me like writing to radio stations and getting yeah. rejection letters. He's seen, you know, my my nervousness before I win Miss India yeah, Kenya. Yeah, yeah. He's he's seen me. Uh, audition. He dropped me yeah. at my audition to Capital yeah. FM, and he's yeah. like, "Good luck." Wow. And him and my brother were discussing. And my brother said, yeah. "Oh, she always gets what she wants." Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's like, "Oh, that'll be so cool if yeah. you're a presenter." You yeah. know, so so we have known each other way before any any before of this. Before it all began, before the stardom yeah. kicked in. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. So Pinky before and Pinky after. <laughs> What's the difference? None. Really? <laughs> How do you maintain that? Gray Seriously, hair. you know, it's like. I hide it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How? What's the secret? I mean, you know, uh, I don't want to say your age, but I know you're proud of oh, it. Oh, you can you say know, my age. I know I that. Don't care. You know, <laughs> when we were when we were talking about it and, and scripting, and guys are like, "Hey, don't ask her her age." I'm like, "Hello, she's proud of it." Yeah. Why not? You know. So, what is the secret to being? You are just the same. Well, people have changed. People okay. have evolved. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the same. You've just lost your hair. Did you have hair before? Trust me, that's a family issue. I've always <laughs> had a major crisis. It's in the genes, guys. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, but yeah, I have to say it's genetic. Yeah. My mother is amazing, you know. She looks amazing and she's, uh, she's aged. One thing about my mom, and that's where I've learned it from, is she's aged gracefully. Gracefully, yeah. And she's always said to me, <clears throat> age gracefully don't be in denial we're yeah, all getting yeah, there exactly, you know yeah, it's yeah. not like oh i'm 29 no yeah, yeah. i am what i am and you have to own it you have to be very proud of it don't uh fake it don't botox it because the more chemicals and stuff you put it into you is what's going to affect you at a later stage yeah. and and try and live that life as best you can i'm not saying make yourself miserable so you eat anything and everything or is it a special diet that you follow i don't uh, follow a special diet if my body is craving something I will give you my body do. that okay, okay. Uh, what I've done recently is I've given up chocolate because you know my mom's not well mm -hmm. so that is for her I've yeah. given up chocolate wow, okay. which I'm I was huge on chocolate I'm a chocoholic yeah, yeah. and I don't know if that's got anything to do with it I wouldn't say yes no but I'm I've always been good with my salads juices so you've trained your body from day one from day maybe 26. 
<laughs> years old. <laughs> All right. So, and, and your fitness regime? Mm -hmm. You do yoga? Or I'm a lazy girl. A walker? Or I'm so lazy. But I yeah, so I'll do the easiest thing. Are you thing. still into swimming? Uh, I, I do love my swimming, yeah. um, although it gives you big traps. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think Avoid it's very that, feminine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and do some sort of cardio, which is walking. If I feel like it, I will, you'll see me running in yeah. Lavington on the road. <laughs> Um, there was one time I was running and there was traffic all along and Whoa. I'm like, I can't stop because people will say she can't run. So I had to run all that. Anyway, so I run, I walk. Yoga is a big part of my life. I wouldn't say I exercise yoga. I yoga. live yoga. You live yoga. Yeah. Okay. How do you find the ultimate balance? I mean, that is everyone's battle. In this day and era... That's easy. It's, it's like, so easy. Prioritize what's important and what's not. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. When people want to do this, that, that, and they're yeah. like, oh, and you know, you ask them, I don't have the time, or no. I can't do this, or they mess up, and they want to do everything, and they just leave For out. For me, everything. right now, the most important people in my life are my children, my husband, and my mother. Yeah. So if anything comes between that, like, oh, but you have to do this on Saturday night. Saturday night, I spend the night at my mom's house. Yeah. And Sunday mornings, it's me and her. If anything comes between that, sorry. Yeah. It's not important. If you, can, if you can't make it, you can't make it. If I you can't, yeah, I won't it. do it. Okay, uh, something lighter. I saw this uh, Kim Kardashian thing which was going on. Uh, Kardashians? Kardashians, Kenyan, Kenyan Kardashian. Kardashians. With Susie Wakabi? Yeah, you know, Hi, Susie. I, I, I'm not a fan of Kim Kardashian as such. Yeah, well. But I know people follow it and people watch that reality series. You know what it is? It's the escape. Mm. It's uh, the, the glimpse into that high yeah. life, if you will. It's the glimpse into that, oh my gosh, you yeah. have so many things and so much money and that's how and you that's, live. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think people take it seriously. It's just so, a fun thing. Yeah, it's fun. And like I said, maybe it's it's Obama <laughs> called them jackasses, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's for, for Susie and I, it's our escape uh -huh. because we are, like we always say to everyone, it's hard. Adulting is hard. Yeah. No one told us, mm. my gosh, you know, this is what adulting is. Um, so we use it as an escape and because mm. the whole world knows yeah. the Kardashians, yeah. we've used that as, as a sort of as platform. Yeah, so we yeah, make fun cool. of, that's but we, cool. we try and tap on serious issues, um, you know, like... It's like well, there's always a serious message. Too. There's something in yeah. there, but it is our um, therapy. Pinky, who's been your biggest inspiration apart from mommy? Oh, apart from mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there, there are all sorts of different people who've inspired me with their different journeys. Uh, Zane being one of them, Caroline Toko being another one. Um, more recently, there's Shireen Mitwali in Dubai. Uh, there, there are so many different people yeah. who inspire. Um, and they do it in such a great way. What's the record amount of time you have ever gone without taking a shower? Oh no, I, I never take showers. I take baths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? See, I can be cheeky. She, she can, she can, <laughs> trust me. Yeah. And uh, what kind of free gifts do you mostly crave? Free gifts? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. There must be something that you really want. A date with Salman Khan. Oh, had to be Salman Khan. I mean, you're like his biggest stalker over here. You know? I so am, and I make no, I, I mean, don't just, deny just it. Last night I was I checking, don't hide your, it, my I was checking your Instagram stories, and I'm like, okay, she's pissed because he's back with Katrina or something, yeah, I'm like, you know. Why? why? <laughs> As it is, I'm trying to deal with him and that, with that <laughs> other Yulia. But anyway, yeah, Salman. So 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 there, that brings me to the next one. Die Hard Salman Khan fan, but you chose Raj. <laughs> SRK, not a prem. Yeah, well, you know, he's uh, he he may be called Raj, but he looks like someone. Ah. <laughs> Comparison, guys. Watch Raj Salman. Okay, Salman without the six pack and biceps. <laughs> okay. Real comparison, just a face. Okay, Salman's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, but he, I mean, Raj is just as good looking, you yeah. know, and he's delicious. And yeah. Okay, we don't want to get into it, those details. Yeah, he's yummy. Yeah. And yeah. I think he has a big heart. Big heart, yeah. yeah. He's being human. Yeah, yeah. He's, Raj is being <laughs> human all the time. <laughs> okay, uh, one thing that you love the most about yourself? Uh, everything about myself. Everything you love yourself. So. Okay, yeah. something that you hate about yourself and don't say nothing. Uh, one thing that I hate about myself is I trust people too easily. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a good thing or bad thing? Uh, it can be used against you, which it has been used against me a lot. A lot? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Just quick five, uh, ten questions for you. Just one word answer. better be nice. Very, very nice, <laughs> simple. And you know, it also reveals a bit more about yourself. Uh, Things which you don't want to say. You know? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Books or movies? Books. Books. If you would be an animal, any? Black Who Panther. Would you be? And why? Because they're sleek, they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they're just, they're very rare as well. If you'd be any ice cream, which flavor? And mm. why? Ice cream. The one that's coming to my mind is cookies and cream. Cookies I don't know why. and cream. Why? It's delicious. Delicious. Mm. Okay. What's your favorite uh, cartoon character, and why? My favorite cartoon character is Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Because she's my daughter's favorite. Awesome. If uh, there was a movie to be made on your life, what genre would it be? Uh, it would be. Well, if it was in the early days, it would be a full-on action, but <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> um, it, oh gosh, maybe drama. Drama? Mm. And which actress would portray you? I can portray myself. Anyone but you. Anyone but me. Hmm. Definitely but who would not fit your, who would fit, <laughs> who would fit your, your shoes? Priyanka. Priyanka, good one, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, coffee or tea? Tea. Shah Rukh or Salman, we know the answer. Yeah. Don't answer that. <laughs> Hugs or kisses? From Salman? <laughs> <laughs> dresses or skirt? Uh, dresses. Slippers or shoes? High heels. High heels. Uh, last but not least, Bollywood or Hollywood? To do what in? I don't know. Bollywood. Bollywood. Have you ever considered Bollywood? Yes, I, I did also try yeah. to make it in, but it was just, there was, they were asking too much. Of too it. much. That's I, a story I couldn't for go down that, day, yeah, I guess. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> over coffee, some serious coffee. Great stuff over here, guys. It's the SAK show, you've been watching it, and Pinky, Gilani, Semi, got that one right, yeah? Okay. All right, yeah, thanks so much for having you here. <laughs> Thank you. And just as a token of appreciation, Mac Coffee gives you a hamper over here. Oh, wow, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your coffee. Yay. Make it nice Thank for Raj, so okay? <laughs> I'll see.